Welcome to the series where I will be trying to help you to try to get the Dark Aether camo, slowly progressing through all the guns. Today we're going to be looking at shotguns. If you're wondering how to get the knife or the M79 AK noob tube or whatever you want to call it, diamond slash gold, I will link those videos down in the description. This is basically part three and we will be, you know, doing shotguns as you might tell by the title. One thing that I need to make sure and make this clear before we fully get into it, there's a lot of glitches and a lot of issues that people are having right now. Unfortunately, this video will not fix any of it for you i have not experienced this myself at all not even once and i don't know why i know it might be unfair but at least i'm here to make these videos for anybody that doesn't have these issues and these issues are basically you're not allowed to progress with levels on your gun or unlock camos now this is an issue that i definitely can assure you will be fixed by treyarch so do not worry it might take some time i don't know when the next update's coming out but we're getting nuketown soon and i feel like there will be an update with that so maybe they'll fix it then and if you're also looking for the best strategy to level up your gun i know i will sound kind of basic but basically use the gun i've used the guns in zombies most of the time and i leveled them up a lot so i didn't have any issues with leveling up but there's also an alternative you could go into multiplayer or if you're on playstation you could play with a friend you have double weapon xp and i do believe a little bit of xp bonus as well on your levels so that's basically it just play multiplayer it's like really good for leveling it up especially fire team fire bomb something like that it's 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 that weird like battle royale one but if you're not having issues with any of that without further ado there are timestamps down below if you have any particular camo issue or anything like that also there's only two shotguns as of now so I will be kind of swapping out between them and I'll be mainly concentrating on the Hauer, Hauer, whatever that pump shotgun name fully is. I will be concentrating on that one because I feel like that one might be more difficult than the Gallo Spaz 12. So before we fully, 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 fully get into it, I just want to tell you some helpful things on perks, field upgrades, and other things. Essentially, the field upgrades that I recommend going in is either Ether Shroud, leveled up to level 3, or Ring of Fire, also leveled up to level 3. The reason Ring of Fire is really good is because if you have it leveled up to level 3, you can basically fire whatever gun you have extremely fast and rapidly, and Ether Shroud is really good because whenever you want to go kill the elites, you will be able to basically teleport or even hide from them for a certain amount of time. And if you have level 3, you can teleport basically a few meters in front of you. And on top of that, you have 8 seconds long. So you can, you know, pump in those rounds into those zombies. The perks, the main two essential ones that you need, but obviously it's not the only two that you need, is Jug and Deadshot. Jug, level 3. You know, it's Juggernog, you need it. And Deadshot, because there's a specific challenge called getting critical kills, and they're basically headshots or the weak points of zombies, and Deadshot basically aims in for you. I'll explain more on that later if you're sticking around for the full video. I also recommend having the shotgun skill fully upgraded. The first one will give you increased close quarters damage by 10%, which is really good if you're close quarters, especially with shotguns. Second one is increased critical damage by 10%. It will be amazing for the critical headshots or just critical kills in general. And and the last one is increase armor penetration damage by 10%, which is amazing for the armored zombies because, you know, they're slightly harder to kill. Now, you could use an, an ammo mod, which is basically Napalm Blast. I do not fully, you know, it's not essential to have ammo mods. I don't know if they take away some of your kills. I did run Napalm Blast because it's amazing on the Plague Hounds or Hell Hounds, whatever you want to call them. And if you see any clip in this video where I'm a higher level with the gun and it's really early round, or if you see any kind of no attachments but then attachments, remember, I'm combining a bunch of clips and on top of that you can also put on attachments if you spawn them without any attachments on the gun through the armor person now if you want a little bit of help with some of the attachments on the guns i guess you don't extremely have to have a certain strategy with these because they're shotguns they're just ridiculously overpowered as it is but for both i recommend having a scythe it will help you out with the critical kills for the muzzle i use the infantry v choke for the barrel i use the 21.6 reinforced heavy for the pump shotgun and for the gallo i use the 24.8 task force i think that's right and for the magazine on the pump shotgun i used stanag 8 rnd tube and for the gallo i used stanag 12 rnd tube and for the final one for the handle i used airborne electric wrap for the pump shotgun and the SARS jungle grip for the gallo. Now, you know, I just kind of put anything on, but if you want helpful tips, those are the ones I recommend aiming at. Anyway, without further ado, that's kind of it for all those, you know, things there. And whew, let's get into it. So the first camo is grunge. This one for both of the shotguns shouldn't be any difficulty as, you know, as I mentioned, the shotguns are extremely overpowered. If you simply just use the gun all the time and kill zombies, you will do amazing. Now I need to specify this as I didn't mention at the beginning of the video. 
multitask. What I mean by multitask is use a second gun as well. Always have a second gun because if these are not your last camos, you will definitely still have rocket launchers to do or even the M79 aka the grenade launcher. Just use a different gun that you know is bad but you know you can slowly progress through it. So that's one recommendation I have and for grunge challenges again just run around kill zombies it's nothing insanely difficult uh, but 2500 kills for both might sound slightly challenging don't worry you'll definitely get it over time the next one is liquid 2500 critical kills now i'm going to mainly concentrate on the pump shotgun on this or the horror haru is because i feel like people will struggle with it the most for both shotguns i recommend whenever you start the game aim for the zombies heads essentially you start off round one just keep aiming for their heads because that is the critical spot you will get like a little pop-up notifications if you have your like kill points or whatever you want to call them on because you'll get the yellow sign that says 115 uh, essence i guess if you want to call it and it's a critical kill now deadshot is amazing for this you could run around if you're later rounds and try to aim for their heads yourself personally this is the last one i had on both guns so if you just straight away from round one start shooting them in the head and then progressively over time do it then you will definitely do really well now the pump shotgun itself doesn't have any wall buy or the horror whatever you want to call it so you're most likely going to have a level up yourself unless you hit the box and you know get like the gold rarity it's not really difficult to level it up but with the gallo or the spaz it's really easy because if you go to the wall buy in your jug now this is specifically for d machina right now i don't know what other map will be out in the future if you're watching this in the future but in d machina you can basically get the gallo and it's really overpowered this variant and you can also progressively level it up and if you triple pap it the critical kills will be easy next camo challenge is brush stroke again for both guns i won't be concentrating on one for this one just you know get kills try to get pack a punch open and pack a punch your guns as early as possible you should be able to do it after you pack a punch and kill the elite i usually have enough like 5,000 points if you just do it from there if you hit like crouch underneath the perk machines you will definitely have enough that is a hundred percent and you know just get it up to level three if you're high rounding the next camo is vintage eliminate 15 elites now with the gallo if you're on the early round and you know it's the first one spawning in this should be absolute ease but if you're looking for the horror or the pump shotgun essentially what i recommend doing is trying to get a secondary gun now if you're on the machine obviously there's that easter egg that you could do where you can get free jug and free gun not essential, but if you have a secondary gun that is more powerful than your pump shotgun, deal damage to the big boy. After you deal damage to the big boy, two thinner boys should spawn in. Kill one fully and then damage one of them so that he's basically vibing around by himself and finish him with the shotgun. Unfortunately, that only counts as one kill. So if you were, you know, hoping that would count as three, I hate to, you know, be the bearer of bad news, but it's unfortunately just one. Now you could also use the ring of fire for this and the ether shroud is amazing. Even if you're on high rounds, I recommend activating ether shroud after you destroy the big dude, because then you have the two and after you activate the ether shroud, you can essentially just walk up to them and get headshots and it's absolutely easy to kill them then with both of the guns the gallo and the the next camo is fauna get 10 kills rapidly 10 times with the gallo again it's absolutely easy and the only thing i can recommend with the pump shotgun is have it pack a punched as your gun will shoot faster uh, because it ha basically has double tap on it as you progressively pack a punch it now there's a huge difference between the first pack a punch and the third pack a punch third pack a punch you can shoot super fast and it's more effective with the damage obviously but obviously if you let's say you could train them on like round three i'm pretty sure that's enough zombies if you're really struggling with that one but that one should be definitely easier than liquid at least the next camo challenge is topography three or more critical kills if you're going for the critical headshots critical kills for liquid camo challenge you will not struggle i can confirm this right now because i didn't now again this is just me but from my experience, it wasn't anything difficult, anything challenging. Essentially, if you're on a high round, just whenever you have a massive group of them, you could activate your Ring of Fire or Ether Shroud or just essentially turn around and start blasting their heads. Both guns could have a good fire rate. Gala already has a good fire rate and the only issue I find with it is the ammo capacity. But don't worry, you can always buy ammo and you could also put on the attachment that gives you basically more ammo or if you pack a bunch, it gets more ammo. The last camo is Infection. 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit 10 times now you could do this from round one as i've told you at the beginning of this video essentially what you do is try to get the kills because they are very slow spawn with the gun and just progressively get the kills now the horror or the pump shotgun will be definitely more difficult to get because obviously it's a pump shotgun it's not the gallo which is basically like nearly an assault rifle with just slightly less ammo and if you basically 
keep your distance from zombies, try to not be hit, always carry around armor, the armor will count as getting hit unfortunately from what I think, but also if you have stem shots or anything like that, it's really good, won't save you from anything, but it's just really good to have. You could use monkey bombs or even decoys, could be a useful thing to do, throw it down, shoot them from a distance, your ether shroud or ring of fire would be very effective on this situation as well. And that's going to be for the video, I actually am surprised that I got through with it, because there was a lot to say, I could have definitely got into more detail, but I want to make these videos as short as possible. If you're watching this far, be sure to subscribe and like, thank you so much for 7,000 subscribers you have no idea how amazing it was to wake up to that now if you want i will be most likely streaming the next camo challenges that i'll be working for and they are snipers i don't know when i'll be streaming i might be streaming later when this video is out obviously whenever you're watching this maybe i won't be streaming at all comment down below i'll answer any kind of question you have i'll try my best to answer especially as fast as possible and without further ado